In 2019, I came across a very sad and shocking news about an 11-year-old girl who went into anaphylactic shock due to a toothpaste. She was allergic to dairy products and this particular toothpaste contained the milk protein that caused that allergic reaction in her body. She was hospitalized for two days and after two days, unfortunately, she died. Hello everyone, this is Tanya Siddiqui and today I'm going to talk to you about allergies. What are allergies? What are the symptoms of allergies? What are 10 most common foods that can cause allergies? And what are the prevention strategies? Food allergies are when our immune system mistakenly treats a food or a substance in a food as something harmful and triggers cells to produce an antibody which is called immunoglobulin to neutralize the allergy causing food or the food substance. About 8% of children in the United States suffer from allergies. Most common food allergies are peanuts, milk, eggs, soy, wheat, tree nuts, fish, shellfish, raw fruits and vegetables, and sesame seeds. Symptoms of food allergies can be mild, moderate, or severe. Symptoms of food allergies can include hives, rash, swelling of the mouth, tongue, and throat, red and tearing eyes, wheezing, difficulty breathing, coughing, shortness of breath, trouble swallowing, vomiting, and diarrhea. And the most severe type of reaction to allergies is called anaphylactic reaction, which is a very severe life-threatening reaction that can lead to a drop in blood pressure, loss of consciousness, and death if not treated immediately. Children with anaphylactic allergies will need something called EpiPen to treat the reaction. EpiPen contains epinephrine, a medication that can help decrease the body's allergic reaction by relaxing the muscles in the airways to make breathing easier. It helps to reverse the rapid and dangerous decrease in blood pressure and it relaxes the muscles in the stomach, intestines and bladder. EpiPen is for emergency treatment only and does not replace seeing a healthcare provider or going to the hospital. It is easy to read instructions, easy grip body, built in needle protection. After injection, the orange needle cover automatically extends to ensure the needle is never exposed. Orange needle cover to contrast with blue safety cap for easy orientation for people who have problems distinguishing colors. Storing your EpiPen auto injector properly can help keep it effective and ready to use in the event of a severe allergic reaction. There, there are certain things to follow. Number one, keep your EpiPen auto injector at room temperature. Do not expose to direct sunlight. Do not refrigerate or freeze. Do not keep EpiPen in a vehicle during extremely hot or cold weather. Keep your EpiPen auto injector in its carrier tube to protect it from damage. But remember, the carrier tube is not waterproof. Keep the blue safety cap, which helps prevent accidental injection, on until you need to use EpiPen. Do not drop. Do not keep folded paper instructions or any other objects in the carrier tube with EpiPen. They may prevent you from retrieving your auto injector quickly in a severe allergic emergency. Occasionally inspect the EpiPen solution through the viewing window. The solution should always be clear. If it is discolored or brown, uh, solution or if there are solid particles 
or any signs of leakage or damage to the carrier, replace your EpiPen auto injector. In order to prevent an allergic reaction, it is important to avoid the food. And for that, it is important to read the labels of ingredients when purchasing food. Also, when children are introduced new foods in infancy, one food needs to be introduced at one time and there needs to be a wait period of three to four days to see if any reaction to food occurs so that it's easy to point which food is causing that reaction and to avoid that. Always carry the epinephrine injector wherever you go with the child. Leave one at the child care center. Make sure that it is not expired and practice with auto injector trainer on a daily basis. Parents and families must talk to the child care providers about their child allergies and if you are taking a, the child to a party or meeting friends, they must know about the child allergies and what foods to be avoided. In case of reaction, you must know the signs and symptoms. Reaction can differ each time and remember that symptoms can start as mild symptoms and they can get worse quickly. Reaction can look different each time. For example, a child can have a very strong reaction without having hives or anything which he suffered previously. And when you are in doubt, always use epinephrine auto injector. It can save lives. And there must be an anaphylaxis emergency plan which is created by family and healthcare practitioner and must be shared with people whom the child would be interacting with. For example, child care centers, teachers, and other caregivers. If the child is in distress, he or she must be given epinephrine before calling 911 and make the child sit down or lie down depending on his or her symptoms. That's all for this video and in my next video, I would be introducing you to an early childhood educator who is a curriculum manager working for one of the large child care centers in Richmond and she also sells loose parts. She's going to talk to us about loose parts, what are loose parts and why they are very important for children's growth and development. She has prepared a present for our giveaway for the subscribers of this channel and to the followers of her Instagram. And I would be posting the link to her Instagram in my next video. So stay tuned and thank you very much for watching.